Hey guys, so I have the Klein Tools TI-220 thermal imaging camera attached to my Android phone right now. They make a version for iPhone as well. So it gives you a live thermal camera view using your phone screen. Now what's cool about having a cell phone thermal camera is when you take pictures, it's saved right to your phone. So you can attach it to an email or you know, send it to someone right away. Now compare that to a standalone thermal camera where you would have to plug it into a computer or uh, transfer the imagery in videos um, manually. So this is super convenient and it's so compact. So it just plugs right into the bottom of your phone. It does have this extension here. You'll notice that I'm using it with my uh, phone case on. So uh, it doesn't have any problems. Like if I tried to plug this in directly, it doesn't quite go all the way, but just by adding this extension, it fits right on the phone and bypasses my case. And I also like that I can kind of fit my finger under the phone like I usually hold it. Now, if you don't have a USB-C port on your phone, not to worry, they do include a micro USB adapter uh, if you have an older Android phone. Now, when you're not using it, everything pops into this little plastic uh, case. Uh, includes this carabiner here so you can clip it somewhere um, so it's always easy to grab and it doesn't take up a lot of space when you're storing it. I kind of wish the case was a little bit better because uh, this closure mechanism seems like it could pop open pretty easily. Now one thing that's cool is you can set it up so as soon as you plug it in it automatically opens the Klein Tools app. So the app is free there's no subscription or anything like that you just download it and as soon as the app loads it's working right away. Now just just to walk you through the interface real quick, you'll see a couple of things jumping around. Those are your indicators for the low and high temperature point in the image. So right here we have the high temperature. It's showing, uh, I think 130 degrees. And then the low temperature is kind of up here. We're at 75 degrees. The range right here shows you the entire range of temperature in the current image. So if I move away from the boiler, you can see the hottest I see right now is 80 degrees and the lowest is 73. But as soon as we hop onto something really hot, the range increases. So it shows you the color scale. So you always know what you're looking at and you can see um, what the hot and cold spots are. Now, right in the center here, it'll show you the temperature of whatever is in the center. And you can also just tap the screen to have a, uh, a measurement point, you know, wherever you want on the screen. So that's really handy for taking pictures. You know, if you need to compose a shot where, um, you know, you want to take a measurement, but you, you don't want to center the picture on this target, you can kind of compose it how you want and then tap wherever you want to get a reading and then snap a picture. Now it also, will save video as well as a time lapse. So you can go into the settings. You can change all of those visual displays um, that I just went over. You can also change the color profile, but the time lapse has three different settings. So slow, medium, and fast. So the color palettes, let's change it to rainbow. So here's rainbow. So it just kind of shows you a different color range um, to visualize the heat and there's also grayscale um, if you just want a black and white image. Now, if you're trying to get a little more accurate with your uh, temperature readings, you can change the emissivity um, unit. So by default, it's 0.95. And if you go into the FAQ, it'll provide a chart of common materials and their emissivity um, settings. So different types of materials will have uh, different properties on how they reflect heat. So you can calibrate that setting if you're trying to uh, grab like an accurate uh, reading of temperature. So it's the temperature that you see on the screen is going to be a little bit off depending on the type of material that you're targeting. So you can calibrate that in order to get a more accurate reading. So as far as thermal cameras go, this is really an entry level camera. The resolution is pretty low. There's no um, focusing capability. So it has a fixed focus. So you can see that it's a little bit blurry, but as far as just finding kind of general hot and cold spots and uh, target temperature, 
pictures, this thing works great. And again, I just love how compact it is. It's something that's just so handy um, to just kind of keep in the toolbox if you ever need it. It doesn't take up a lot of space and uh, the app works great. Um, and again, it's not something that you need to pay for. It's a free app. So as soon as you buy the thing, you can download it and plug it in and there's no configuration. It just kind of works right out of the box. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Klein Tools TI220. And again, they also have a version for iPhone as well.